Hey guys, make sure you stay until the end. If you make one common mistake, you can spend thousands of dollars on parts and diagnostics you don't need. Stay with us and we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Toyota Sienna degeneration right here from year 2011 to year 2020. If you guys have one of those, you need to find where the fuel injector fuses are located, which fuses you need to check specifically for fuel injectors, where you can find them. There will be multiple ones because they're for the fuel system where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money and time, and why it's important to always test fuses and relays, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take things completely apart, we show you guys how to do electrical, mechanical, bodywork, a little bit of everything guys. If you have one of those vehicles that we're making videos on, subscribe. We'll put quite a few videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. All together, guys, on our channels, we have more than 12,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars. Now, also, if you need to buy any parts, to use at a good price, quick shipping, that way, guys, you do not waste your money and time, we'll share in our videos where you can buy parts, tools, uh, fuses, relays, because some fuses guys and relays are special specific, especially for that Toyota Sienna, you have those special fuses right here, uh, you also have that special integration relay right here, and the other relays, we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping guys, uh, because sometimes they could be also really hard to find. So let's go ahead and start on it now. The fuel injector fuses, so practically that's for the fuel, uh, fuel system guys, you have multiple fuses for the fuel injection system. We will demonstrate on this 2012 Toyota Sienna. You guys have two different fuse boxes, we will work in both of them today. The first one is on the driver's side, open the door, if you look above the pedals on the left side, under the dash, all the way upside down, you will see one white cover that will look like this one. Once you guys open that cover, you will see a fuse box layout that will look just like this one right here. Before we continue let's explain quickly why it's important to always test fuses and relays. So it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well, common mistakes people make. Sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need, uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we had to do is just test the fuse. So we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse, it takes only a few seconds to find out for sure if it's good or bad the same thing for relays guys okay uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays and for some certain fuses guys it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them otherwise you can burn the electronics and uh, for instance working on airbags fuses or anything like that you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery and if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system i will never recommend to do that guys uh, but when disconnecting the car battery, guys, okay, common mistake people make, it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect, reconnect first, if you do it the wrong way, you can burn electronics modules, how we know about that, we burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on BMW, that cost is $2,000, guys, so uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below, which battery terminal to disconnect first, check it out for your convenience. Here guys, what we need to check, a few different fuses, four fuses in this fuse box and we need to go to a different one. The first fuse that you need to check, one, two, three, four, this is not used, fuse number five, right here, you need to check that one. After that you need to check fuse number 14, here. Next, you need to check fuse number 20, right there guys. And lastly you need to check fuse number 31, right here. Now, if you open the hood on your Toyota Sienna, you will see under the hood, facing the engine on the right side, this is the engine fuse box right here. Open that cover guys and you will see that layout right there. Now here, we'll need to check more fuses, specifically for the fuel injection system. The first one is fuse number three, this fuse right here on the bottom, fuse number three, fuse number six and fuse number seven. 
these fuses will need to be checked after that guys you will need to check this is fuse number now 47 46 you need to check this fuse 46 here then this is 45 44 fuse number 43 you need to check this one then you have 42 41 fuse number 40 and fuse number 39 next to it here as well hopefully guys the video will be helpful if you have any questions let us know thank you for watching see you guys next time